hello again. Okay, on the second thought, maybe while life is strange before the storm is downloading, I could try playing another game, namely Murd. Let's try Murd. And of course it starts on the wrong monitor, so let's move it like this to the right monitor or left in this case I don't see any way to control which monitor it spawns on but in any case hold on, wait a minute, it's sound is coming from the wrong thing should be coming from here that's a little better now oh yeah so Mehrd is a game where you actually design a CPU I think welcome aboard one man's one man once said joints are joints are not what we think they are the same qualities that give that appear to give them strength are often the sources of great weakness. We at MicroHard firmly believe that modern CPUs available in the marketplace are far more complex than what is good for them. By having complex instruction sets and downward compatibility, the giants of the tech industry trade legacy for efficiency. Your job will be to design the various hardware elements we need in order to build our CPU. You will be provided with specifications and verification tests for the elements you have to design. If you ever feel lost or overwhelmed, don't, don't panic. Make sure you remember these three tips. If you don't know what to do, read the manual and specifications. When creating your design, draw it out on a piece of paper. I'll hold, hold on to that. If something is wrong, wi wrong with your design, inspect the error messages and fail tests closely to find out where the problem is. Alright. And because I have actually played this a couple of months ago and created some tutorial things for these, I should probably try to reset. Let's see if I can... Yes, game has been reset. So let's do this again. Specification in out, graphical representation, truth table in out. Notgate has an input and an output. Am I recording? Yes, I am recording. If the input is one, because the chat is not updating, am I looking at the right chat? Let's check it out. Test. Test, test, okay, it is actually updating. Just making sure. Um, yeah, so. Hold on, how do I desi select design? Tab, okay. Switch tabs, okay, there's instructions on the bottom left control. Good idea! Get rid of the setting up to overlay. Oh, yes. That is an excellent idea. So, <coughs> let's see. Well, uh, we want parts like not. Actually, what kind of components do, uh, do we need? I may need to take care of the tutorial first. So let's have a look at this one first. Design, in, out. That is good enough. How about this one? Well, this parts. This is NAND. Okay, yeah, so you specify components like that. And then control what goes where. In one, in two. Okay. Excellent. And this one has the same things. There's inputs and no parts. They're just outputs. Alright. Syntax, inputs, outputs. Parts, wires can connect, 
Okay, so you can have solid bits, like one or two, one or zero, I mean, and connect to parts of the bus. So you can have a bus, it's not just bits. Uh, that's pretty self explanatory so far. Format specification, okay, I will get back to that later. Sequential logic. It needs a short time to readjust. This is okay. Notation systems. Okay, let's get back to this. So I need a part. Not, not, and uh, how was this? I no longer can remember. Let's check that again. Him one, not this one, this one. Comma separated, okay. That's okay. So, is this right? Run simulation, control enter. Part type not is not known. So what type of what type of components do we have? Syntax uh, and not. Not not is not known. How come? Um part type not is not known. Okay, so I have to build it from a NAND gate. So okay, that is pretty clear. So and of course I need to have a. And there was in, out, like this. In one, in one. and in two, so they are one based, not zero based. Um, what I'm going to make in this game, uh, I'm just creating the whatever the tasks say that at this point. In one, in two. An invalid ID or invalid start pin. So what is it so then? In Pins do I have? Is it just in? Probably just in. Okay. And now I can create an AND gate from an NAND gate. Excellent. So I need two NANDs, I think. Because I need to convert NAND into a NOT. Uh, negate the output of this AND. And actually this put should be just N. Use these names. These are nice sounds for the keyboard sounds. So this should work. Alright. OR gate. So, do I still have to make it from NANDs? I've completed these workspace. Oh, these are the components. I'm unlocking them. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I began, <coughs> began with just these components. <coughs> and uh, as I unlock this, I'm going to have more components. I see. So that's what's going on. So OR gate, I have to make an OR gate from those two. So possibly I could do, because, um, let's see, NAND is uh, not, yeah, yeah. 
be. Nor is a not a nor or be. Or is of course a or be. So I have to use this one to create this. So let's see, the truth table here is... Um, at least the editor seems to work rather nicely. So I get this truth table, and for the ore I need... Um, uh, this kind of truth table. So how to convert that into that? Hold on. I haven't done digital el electronics for a very long time, so so I'm kind of rusty on this. Will you consider to speed run this game? Uh, I should probably first complete the game at least once before I think of speed running. <laughs> Don't you think? For the com sake of completeness, let's add uh, also this here. So that should be like so. So. <laughs> so that's basically. Not A and not B, so I need to make not not A and not B. That's what I have to do. So I need three nodes and one and. And then in the end. Uh, so my volume is extremely low. Is it the microphone volume or is it is it the game volume? Tell me which one. Because I think my microphone volume is pretty much maximized at this point. So please clarify. Hmm. Microphone. So if the microphone volume is insufficient, let's see what I can do about that. Headset microphone. Over here. Listen to custom levels. If I bring it up like this, it should be louder. Is it louder? It probably is louder. In one, two, and one, in two, dot in. And uh, so they are now na knotted, and uh, now a plus in one, and uh, that output goes to that other output, and uh, the output of that goes into the third one. And the third one's output goes into output. Oh yes, there we go. Now I have XOR. So let's do XOR. So XOR, of course, well, you see the truth table here. I don't actually have mouse cursor here, so I can't point to anything. Rip ear, so it's too loud now. Also, I should probably add that volume a little bit. Anyway, so what is this game? This game is murdered. Hello, hello world. This game is murdered. You design, you design chips in this. Kind of like electronics, but not really. So, uh, Xor is uh, blah 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 to the. Not that one. Hello, lag. And lag again. 
Lag, lag, lag. Why I'm lagging? I see dropped frames. Uh, it's not like T this 100 because well kinda yes kinda no you have to programming this one but here you are making chips you are actually making electronics connecting wires and making logical gates uh, no I have never used Verilog or HDL for a real project I have studied a little bit of VHDL but not done uh, anything with it because I don't have hardware to use it with so I can create that with a B and a not A and a I and not B so that's how I can create this one so I need two and two knots and one or Input 1 goes to... So let's make that A and not B first. Um, uh, it goes to A1, in 1, in 1, dot in. Uh, in 1. Excellent. And the same thing is done for the other one, like this. Is it correct? I think it is correct. And... Uh, oh, dot in one. I think that is it. Now is sleeping just fine. He hasn't been activated for many months. I hope the lithium battery is doing fine. Unlocked a new briefing. We need more pins. Alright. We got... It's great to see you got the hang of things around here. The elements you built so far were great, well between we need to develop buff develop bus versions of those. Check the part in the manual on the bus syntax. Let's do that. Lag Notation systems for bus Bus, 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 bus. Okay. That is, I think, uh, fine. A single pin can be connected to a sub bus. To all pins. Okay. So let's try this. It applies the NOT operation to every bit in the buzz. I see. Hmm. In 4, out 4. Let's check a little bit more. Do I actually need to create four of those knots for that one. I may probably need to parts part ID part types part part dot input bus hmm. Let's just so that I'm doing not doing things stupidly. Let's try uh, 
Can I do this? No, I can't. So I may need to, need to do... Really? Because this is kind of stupid. Good evening, Karvajalka. Four, three, two... And... What happens if I try to use Ctrl Y? Nothing. It's undo, redo. So of course that works, but that is kinda stupid. And it actually doesn't even work. And why is that? I have not never seen Star, Star Wars Force Awakens. And I don't know if I ever will. I'm not really a fan of that franchise. I know it's kind of like a general education thing. I think they should be 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. Okay, so that works, but that was idiotic. Um, so how does Ted work? So what I was going to say, and so... any movies, so, to be honest. But really, do I need to do this manually, because this is really tedious. So what kind of help does Ted give me? lag is kind of getting me. Two, four, three. Oh yes, I see well it's in that. Sure. Ted finished the design. Really? What? Oh, he made them for me. Nice. Okay. Sure, I can turn them down a little bit. Is that good enough? Bus version of... If I at least one of the bits. So I have one output. Hey, just one output. So I need to kind of actually uh, one, two, three ores. I think. Like that, I think. Passed. Excellent. 
Ted finished the design. Hey, that's that's a neat feature. Congratulations, Carvajalka! You made a sensible choice. Finish the design, Xor 16B. Half other. Dmux, Max. Mm. Max element has two data inputs, one the select input and one data output. If the select input is zero of the data, okay, so it selects which oops, which input it takes. So So it's kinda like an and the gate. Let me check once more. So what I'm doing here is uh, so let's see what happens like this. Make a truth table. Wait a minute. Something is wrong. This. So what I need is uh, you can probably hear from the sounds when my when this game is lagging. So yeah. Okay, I I understand what this does now. So it's kind of like sour because it's. Uh, That's kind of what I need to make. Yeah, so I need a uh, one, two, and where these buses? No, it's just two inputs. Okay, so I need two and uh, one not and uh, one or. Excellent. So, and uh, the other one is uh, And these both outputs are connected to an uh, or a good evening Emax vs Vim uh, or and how do I actually name this? I should be naming like this. So this should be excellent. D max does the opposite, does it? Oh, it selects where to put the output. Ah. No, this is not the Temple OS. This is Mehrd. Mehrd is a cheap design game. So out one is uh, oh, let me say that again out two is cell and input and out one is cell not cell and input okay so I need two and and uh, one not yeah Sorry, not that. Uh, not, no, 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 no. A two in and a selection should be the one that gets inverted. So. And. 
And I need an ore, I think. Yeah. Yes, I do. Sail, not one. A, one dot out. And of course, I'm a f I got the uh, wrong polarity here, and also a one dot in one. Uh, that's kind of wrong. Like that. Revocation failed. Oh, out. Oh. <laughs> I don't need that. I need this one. Uh, goes into out one and this one goes into out one. Out like so. Yeah, the webcam kind of tries to zoom me when I go close. It it tries to keep, th keep things in frame. So if I move the zoom goes like that. And sometimes it loses the track of where, where, where my face is. So. Okay, half adder. Half adder. Hmm. Two bits as input and adds them up. The sum is giving us output as well as the carry bit. Very well. I know what I need. So I need one sword and a um, uh, and and. Excellent. Logic design the cal class. Yeah, that's basically what this is in nutshell. Full adder. Mux 4B. The Mux 4B element is a bus version of the max gate. It transfers the whole data for of one of the input buses to the output bus, but otherwise behaves identically. Mm. This is going to be interesting. So, in the max example, I needed a, a not and an and. Do I really need four ands here and four? No, I don't because I already have a. I already have a. I have this. And I have a... Hold on. I have this. Yes. Bus version. So I have these. So I could actually use these. Yes, that is exactly correct, Emax. So I have to use these ones. So... No, I don't want to quit. So how did I do this? I did it like that. I still don't want to quit. So I have two choices. Either I can use multiple maxes or I can use the bus thing. And I will probably use those buses. So uh, yeah, don't go stick a kinda kinda do I kinda don't. I, I haven't played Go for a long time but, but but I still follow the scene and occasionally I log into key K, KGS and see what's going on there. So I need two ands and one not. And do I also need the or oh, yes I do. Can I copy this? C 
copy. And go back here and uh, paste. For B, for B, for B, for B. Let me check with a yes. Syntax for that again. Syntax is uh, for the bus is uh, so I can direct the bus as a whole like that. So this should actually work pretty much right away. Excellent. Uh, so, hello, Jinxu. No, I don't really play RTS games. Sorry. Out one, out two, out three, out four. So actually I have to make this from parts. Oh no. This is complicated. 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 So out one is... Uh, So I have to make sale one, which is uh, so I think. So I need eight anders and uh, four knots. probably don't need to duplicate this because I can just use two knots. So these are the negated selections. So out one is going to be select selected from in uh, goes into there and uh, let's take those selections rather. rather tedious I would say out one so that's how it works 
and then the next one which is almost the same except now selection 1 is not inverted and then the third one is where selection 1 is inverted and selection 2 is not In the final one, both are not inverted. Passed. Excellent. Sweet DFFs. The best CPU in the world is, isn't worth a whole lot if you can't save the program that drives it or the result it produces. Something that all the hardware elements you designed so far have in common is the absence of memory. We need to change that. This is why I got a bus, business associate to source some sweet D flip flops. When designing sequential elements, make sure you consider the timing aspect. Check out the chapter on sequential logic in the manual and have a look at the spec sheet for the D flip flop under the completed folder. Register. DFF. Did I not do the full ladder yet? No, I didn't. <laughs> DFF uh, saves the value it receives on this input and outputs that value one clock cycle later. Uh. Nothing else there. Okay. Register. Ted. Ted is. Have you met Ted? He's an uh, assistant. Uh, Jing Yu, the p keyboard sounds you are hearing uh, come from this game. They are not my keyboard, they are from this game. So, full adder. Full adder has carry in. Oh. So let's make a truth map. I know that there was a truth map here, but I want to make it myself, so just to make sure I don't miss anything. Are kind of satisfying sound, I have to admit. So I'm just counting the number of bits that's set here, basically. No, that's not right. Yeah, that's still not right. This is right. Yeah, I have to use this random editor, but it's it's okay. I don't have page up, page down keys here, or going to the end or the beginning of the text. But other than that, it's pretty good. Control space, I haven't used that before. So what I have here is uh, let's see how these compare. It's basically basically XOR of those and uh, carry is created if uh, 
Really? XOR, XOR, and. And the whole selection is XORed by that. Well, that's one way to do it. Sure, I can do it like that. So, XOR and. and two XORs more. Very well. So, in one goes into this one, in two goes into that one. And, uh, and these both are getting sort by that XOR. Actually, that is wrong. That is wrong. Because if, if it were right, this would be like that, but it's not. So I am actually mistaken here. So let me try that again. So we have XOR of the three operands, I guess. And also this should be like that. carry out is basically counts whether there are two or more bits so it's for example although that is highly inefficient can I do that any better that's one way to do it I make a map of that. If I make a carnal map of that, let's see. So I have C here, that's that. And then I have a. I don't know, it's been a long time since I have. Since I have done a Carnot map, maps to learn last time, so these are the two inputs. So in this case, it's uh, one. Yeah. Okay. So we have a or like that. That is one way to put it. Or another way to put it would be because XORs are kind of kind of expensive, so I could do nor. Uh, just or should be fine. So there's one, two, three, four gates here, and here here's five gates. So this one is cheaper. Yeah, yeah, Uzi Monkey, it's kind of like that. So I have used two XORs so far. Yes, I have. So...
Oh, there's a line limit. There's a line count limit. Well, now it kind of looks like this because you can't scroll down. You have to make everything in this room. Can it scroll? No, it cannot even scroll to the right. So in that way it's kind of like this. Yeah, the keyboard sounds might be recorded from that kind of keyboard. X1 out. So in one... I need to delete some lines here. Like that. And then make an OR in the same way. Yes. Yes. O1 to output goes into A2 in and carry in goes into another input of that and then both outputs go into uh, what? What? Sorry, I keep losing my track of thought. So I think that it's it. Let's try it. Too many incoming wires on pin out. Because they should be carry out. Verification passed. No, I cannot use enter to make more lines. I was just saying about that. It cannot scroll down. I cannot add more lines. Adder for me. So the register. Register element has internal state and output and input. Internal state of the register is only set to the value of the input in case the input load flag is 1. Let's do that. Check the manual for sequential logic. Sequential logic. Uh, clock, 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 clock. Clock, clock, clock. Mm. Single expecting a value. Sure. Let's imagine I understood that. So let me check that DFF again. <laughs> That's so it kind of delays the output by by one clock cycle. So. No, I don't want to quit. Um, this is interesting. You know, in this you don't have variables there, but because uh, there's a delay between the buses of the different boxes, there's kind of like memory still. So this is kind of the same idea here. Here. Yeah, it kind of kind of is educative this game. So. Okay, so the input to the DFF is chosen from its output or the input. So I need uh, the DFF and uh, a and and uh, not and another and. I think. 
So, DFF output goes into output, of course. And what goes into DFF input is I need an OR, of course, do I? <laughs> what happens if I connect two things at the same time into the same output? Let's try that first. So, that works there, and then also goes into this one too many incoming wires okay so that clears that up so I do need or Failed, failed. I actually failed some tests. Ah. And that is probably because of the delay thing. So I may need to add some delay here. So in goes into is huge. What? Well, I do have lots of hair. That's true. So to be clear, what I'm doing here is uh, input goes into DFF if load is set. DFF's output goes into DFF if load is not set. And uh, DFF's output of course go goes into output. So that is what I'm going what I'm trying here. And of course this can be written as like that. This is what I'm working here. Working, trying here, but it's not working. If I put that delay into the load thing instead. Actually, I just found out be like oh yes, uh, huh what past all right I understood now so what the problem here was not actually I could still go back and edit this because this is 
not necessary here. Oh, I had just had a typo here. So, yeah. My solution has been updated. Adder 4B. 4 bit adder. It has therefore two 4 bit input buses and one 4 bit output bus, while the carry in and out bits are kept. This is complicated. Binary notation for numbers and binary. Now I haven't tried building my own 8-bit computer. I kinda don't have that much electro electronics experience. So, I need full adders. I need four full adders. Probably. Probably. I think I have got the idea here. Wait, no? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Two, two, three, three. A quite exhaustive test. ALU, ALU, huh? We are getting closer to blowing up the CPU marketplace step by step, design by design. As you might know, the actual computation and CPU performance are done by its ALU. And the exciting thing is ALU. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, English alphabet is kind of confusing, so... <laughs> uh, we, you, you just need to wire it up. At the risk of re repeating myself, make sure you draw out your design on paper first. Um. Yeah. On paper first. Sister for a bit. So this one had a in load and out. In load and out. Sure. Sure. 
hello. Okay. Hello. Sure. Passed. Failed. Failed. Uh. Aha. Passed. <sighs> Micro heart for a bit of the algorithmic logic unit specification. Random access memory with 4-bit addressable registers and 16-bit bus with... <laughs> These are getting interesting. Counter. For every clock cycle the load value is zero, but the internal value increments. Okay, let's do the one, one thing at a time. Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh. Of course, four. If one decade would be fun. <laughs> Results can be achieved with the No, that's not that wasn't the Eureka moment, that was uh excitement because I'm looking at this table on the bottom of the the screen right now and looking at wow it's getting a lot of lot done here. So yeah. That's kinda interesting design. Negate out bitwise. So I need a whole lot of conditional. Actually, that's a XOR. Yeah, conditional negation is actually XOR. Huh. So I need XOR for in one, XOR for in two. Do I have four XORs? Logic. XOR, XOR, 4B. Yes, I do. No. So... So, that's where I start working at. Excellent. And the output is uh, in one add into in one dand in one into still have the same space, yes of course. Yeah. Negative at zero. What? What? 
How do I output to that? Negative zero. Negative. So zero. So I actually have to do flags here. So negative is if output. Okay, I understand. So. Whatever goes into out4 is going also into goes into negative. And uh, I don't think the CPU is subs suspect to those flaws. again. So let me check that again. Yeah. And uh, that should be actually negated so inverted so that's not so that's flags and that's output <coughs> and then I just need to do the logic that's everything else is taken care of Is going to be called uh, adder, advanced, adder, full adder, adder for B, adder for B, okay. That covers it all, so... That covers that. And the inputs are the same. No carry, so I think it works like works like that, and then uh, in uh, and. Uh, And also into like that, and then the selection or is the no wrong one to use here, so instead of or I need a
something like that. So I need two ends, one not and one or. So I st do still need this. Probably like that. I think. And then uh, that should be inverted, so in uh, one. These are fed into what could not be parsed completely. What because of that? No, what? What? Where is my syntax error? Where is my syntax error? I'm looking for double commas here. No double commas. Yeah, the font here is quite nice. Couldn't be parsed completely. Why? I wanna. I don't have duplicates here. No, I do not have duplicates. These are. Is it because of this? This one, this should not be zero, because I am not trying to connect this into the input, I'm trying to connect literal zero. I mean, no electricity, I'm trying to connect literal zero into this one. The zero that is here in the end is this output. Oh, this double. This one should be a, just a comma. Okay. Verification passed. I love it when that happens. And it was actually the first time, uh, once it compiled it, it, it was the first time. So random access memory with 4-bit addressable. Oh no. So, four different values. I think I know what I'm getting here. 16 bit ah. load and address so i need four register 16 bits
right so and what else do I need I probably will need ore yeah I will need an ore that is 16 bits wide and takes four inputs or lacking that just use four of these three of them And that should get me started. And then to interpret that address I need uh, all kinds of things. So like this. So I need two knots again. And now And I need four anders. harder <laughs> at least there's something enjoyable in this game to audience no that's actually wrong uh, let me see load Oh no, I just don't only calculated how to load values into there, but I also need a uh, So the output is going to be Yeah. 
because this is just the address selection. I also need to add a load selection. So delete these. No. No. Oh, it's because I'm out of line limit. That's ah. Uh. Now are Let's condense this a little bit because of the line limit. I could probably do this in a smarter way. Could probably indeed. <sighs> but oh well. So. Actually, they should be. Sixteen bit? No. Uh, this one should be sixteen bit. That bang is kind of deafening whenever, whenever the game lags. Deafening, deafening. And if my calculations are correct, this is it. Almost. First time compilation. I don't have the component, really, because they should be capital, I think. So still haven't compiled it first for a single time. Mr. Mary, I don't understand what you are talking about. Past! Again, first try. <laughs> it 
Richard created a little bigger than a 64 kilobyte. Hello, ABCDW. ABD, ABCD, ABDC, W. Counter for B. Counter for B. Element is similar to register for B with two differences. For every clock cycle the load flag is zero, the internal value increments. Oh. Oh. And if the load value is not zero, then... Uh, Okay. Uh, input. There's also input. Okay, and I now I seem to understand. So if if the load value is zero, the value increments. If the load value is one, it takes the input value. Okay. So, can I use the max here? Actually, I, I could have used the max thing quite many times already. Max, max, max. Cell. So I need a adder, full adder, adder for B, adder for B. So adder for B input is either if load is no, is zero then load and reset So those are the options. What happens if both are one? If both are one, then uh, I don't quite get it. That happens by delay. I think it just resets then. Let's see how that works. So I probably need a two boxes. Uh. Uh. Input 
one is uh, zero. And the other one is whatever. And uh, adder output is here, and the other input is input. And uh, load is the selection. Set is the selection here. So that output goes into adder input. <laughs> and add this output. Okay, this is probably going to be a test that I am not going to get on my first try. I probably also need a register here. Probably do need that. Uh. Because I also need... I could use this as the one. Yeah, I could use that. And in that case... This could work. Probably won't. I probably need either DFF or register here, but let's see how it works now. Design contains illegal cycles. Hmm. So, I do need that. Memory thing. DFF. Register for B. Register for B. Still contains illegal cycles. So adder output should go also into failed. Did not get the first time. It's an off by one error somewhere. Not quite. Oh.
probably don't even need monks in... Oh yes, I do. Seems like the way to go here. I have to add uh, one. It's probably easiest to put zero into the adder and just use the carry for the value of one. A output goes. It's there. Yes. Yes, it is. So too many incoming wires on. Oh. Verification passed. <laughs> Let me review that counter. So yeah, it was quite quite simple. I first tried to solve this as a adder problem, but r then when I reread this, I saw it says is similar to register for me. So I began to think of this as a register problem, not as a counter problem. And that's how I solved it. <laughs> so, the new things I got. Great things await. We finally got all elements necessary to build our microheart CPU. Our CPU consists, roughly speaking, of an ALU and a couple of resistors. All that is left is to wire those things up. Which is easier said than done. Then done. That should be then done. Typo. Bad typo. B -b bad grammar. Building the CPU is a two-step process field. First, you should design the decoder and second, the CPU itself. However, to be able to understand each single element, you have to understand both how they... both and how they act... You have to understand how both and how they act together. Start out by studying both specs provided both designer and the CPU itself. Okay, this is the final step we need to complete in order to take action on the market. No pressure. <laughs> Decoder. Ah. <laughs> Ask for a refund. Decoder is used in the microhard CPU for decoding instructions. There are two, dif two different kinds of instructions. Oh. Yeah, that's probably what happened to Emacs. First, if that bit is set, then uh, the rest of it is, has to be interpreted as constant. <laughs> C to M and load M. Output has to be set to 1. <laughs> okay. The lower fif fifteen bit, lower fifteen bit of the instruction. Another typo here. 
second, if the last bit equals zero, then the decoder has to interpret the rest of the instruction in a more elaborate way. In this case, the CPU has to perform the operation, specify the operation code, with the operands decoded by operand 1 and operand 2. <sighs> what is that CPU then? Uh, on a high level, the microhard CPU is able to perform a wide variety of, of instructions similar to the microhard ALU. However, while the ALU is only capable of executing single arithmetic instructions, the CPU is able to execute complex programs composed of many instructions by managing the program execution flow. It needs to be connected to RAM element containing the instructions of a program and a select second. <coughs> <coughs> Is this like the final boss of this game? <laughs> this is getting so complex. Destination. So what kind of outputs do I have? I have an opcode here. What? So, I actually just have to decode that. I don't have to do anything, I just have to decode it. Well, that makes things a little bit easier. <coughs> but where does the address go? Constant. Constant. Okay, I see. The easiest thing first, the constant. this point. I'm thinking this is 16 bits and I only need 15 bits here, but that's okay. I drink coffee sometimes. Hello dust. But uh, right now this mug is empty. And also the clock is like 1 a.m. So I'm not going to drink coffee at this time. The shadows are quite harsh. Uh. <laughs> I 
I don't know, hey Max, what, what time zone are you in? Where do you live? Destination Destination This is actually quite, quite. I'm streaming this in uh, 480p, and uh, this uh, resolution is quite nice for that. Greece, yeah, Greece should be, yeah. I know it was a rhetorical question, but yeah. So constant is. Up one. Up one. <laughs> yeah, Greece should be the same time zone as we are here in Finland. You are watching in the 72p, 720p, hold on. If I look at this, which should be showing my settings here, I am rescaling the output to this resolution here, which you may just be able to read. It's 960 by 480. If the bit is 1, do I still need to decode those bits? It kinda looks like... Uh, to be honest, I can't really tell. Let's work on the assumption that I do. Oh, load D and load A and jump, jump if Z. Outputs have to be zero. Okay, I understand. CTM, C2M. is uh, just books. Okay. Books, books, books. I'll take care of that later, but constant is there. Feed only. Oh. Uh, in this case, the CPU has to feed only the fifth, five lowest constant bits. Okay, so let's edit that a little bit. So these go in every case, but the next ten bits go. These go only if uh, that bit is set. So I need, because that is 9 bits long, I need another and 60B.
Right. And actually that should be box. So far, so good, I think. Uh. So constant is now done. Yes, it is absolutely done. Jump if zero is is ended with that bit knotted. So it's kind of like select also. So jump is dealt with. Uh, sit. Then we have a uh, operation code. Thank you, beep thirteen. Jump uh, operation code. Operation code. Uh. Operation code can be re directed, direct transferred. Opcode. Opcode is four bits. Operation code. Okay. Very well. Operation code. Operand, uh, what can be also? Operand 1. Operand 1 can be. Yeah. Jump if zero. Okay, so those all have been done except the jump if zero flag, which should be changed like that. Ilta, Ilta, Rotmer. That much is done. Destination. So how did these boxes work again? This was uh, Dmux. Dmux is what I need here, I think. Dmux four. Yes, Dmux four is what I need here. D 
destination. Actually, that's... I think that's wrong. Uh. No, 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 it should be this one. Yes, four inputs and one output. And I don't need that huge honking system, so... Uh, scratch that. Let's make a truth table. So... That... And then that... And... Uh, RMD. So... A is one. A okay. And then uh, M is uh, okay, and uh, how about that C to M? C to M. What is C to M? Where does it come from? I think uh, it goes here. Yes, I am coding in a game called Mhrd. They're in one, so I don't need that. Destination beats uh, destination is uh, instru. Okay, so instru uh, fourteen. Like that. And uh, then A is uh, let's call these uh,
So those are the formulas. So I need three and the and one or. That should be all that I needed the, in this budget. So Industry 14 goes into A1 in upon and uh, that negated output goes into its with the other input and uh, that output goes into load A. A similar thing happens with uh, load D. Yes. But that output goes into A3, that should be A3, yes. That should be all. Time to compile. Okay, time to check that syntax. Does it say how many bits? Yes, it says first bit and last bit. <laughs> That's right. No? Over. Oh, this should be a CS output. Why do I have two boxes here? What? Okay, yeah, that is... Probably fine. Yes, I have a made something with Java in the past. I don't like it. Have my have I miscalculated here? <sighs> yes, it should be ten. Load a minister where? Oh, verification failed. Uh, oh no. Shouldn't the constant be always 
I think, yeah, it should probably be always. So I was mistaken, mistaken there. Yeah, it seems I was mistaken there. I misunderstood the specifications. don't actually need that or that. So something failed here. I didn't misunderstand after all. I just... Hold on, I have to think. I have to think this carefully. <laughs> because right now I'm not making much sales with this. Constant fifteen. Constant fifteen. So the failed one here is still with a constant. Expected. Uh, I don't get it. Conditions load A should be set one. Load A should be set zero there. And have I make made this in? 
wrong order The problem is only with uh, that A bit, I think. No, it's not only that. So it's also that jump Z thing, also. should be six. Oh yes. A wrong bit. So not many tests are failing. The problem here is with load A. The problem here is with load D. The problem here is with load A, and the problem here is with load D. a problem with the specification because no it's actually it is it is a problem with my design very very well so I actually have to do these So it should be A4 and A5. Where's my cursor? Over there. there and that should be it verification passed <coughs> and now the CPU I have a decoder here now, so now I just have to use it. 
Oh, how kind. How kind of them. They already included these for me here. <laughs> how kind. I also probably need this. This RAM here. 60k. What was the decoder's input again? It uh, took a instr and produced those, okay. Following behavior. Brr. If the C2M and load M output of the decoder is 1, the constant output has to be loaded into the MR. And the MR is. Uh, is, to ref is used to reference addresses in the connected data RAM. Alu, so Alu is uh, output negative zero. Upcode. <laughs> output negative zero. And it was output, not out. Okay. Out.
go, this is another selection, so... Ah, this is going to be so complicated. Hello, stole uh, your income. And of course, this should be sixty bit six. The right output of the CPU has to have the same uh, value of, th of the load, the output of the decoder. Output is right. Opcode output. If the op1 output of the decoder is 1, the constant has to be fed. Otherwise the IR has to be fed. So let's do a max. Sometimes I speak Finnish when I'm thinking too hard. Constant. the AR Constant feed <laughs> constant. Uh Databus. Databus. 
That would probably be rum. Sign padding. Oh, that is going to be a trouble. When feeding the constant as an operand to the ALU, only the lowest five bits of constants are used. This five bit value is padded to 16 bit in accordance, in accordance to the sign of the value. Oh dear. Output? No, it's out. Output. Actually, I don't need to use RAM here. I just use the date. RAM, so RAM is not a component here. It's just date. Where did I use it? So everything else is done except that sign extension.
And also here's a bus conflict. Okay, that should be not. There's a typo somewhere over here. Bust a pin. Hammer load. Hammer load. A hammer load is uh, here. ELU load, air load. Load A. Where is load A? Load A is... Uh, Well, I know how to do that, it's just work. Sign extension. Load A, where is load A? Here. You could start, yes. This is the trouble. And... Where? Oh, here. Which one? <laughs> what kind of operands does it, does it take? ILU sixteen B. So the sign extension has to be done here as well. Yes or no? Why do I have two of these? So, so this has to be incorrect. Is it incorrect? Instruction decoder C2M. 
That is the capitalization there, so... Okay, and this one has the... Moxing thing going on. Actually, not even boxing. So let's just do or there. Seven of ten tests failed. And that's of course because of the sign extension thing, probably. This is going to be so difficult to debug. But let's try that address thing. I'm so confused. This should be uh what? <laughs> In uh, two, I think. For the lack of better name. Just making sure. Parts. No. Yes.
Running out of limes. Okay, typo. So, this does the sign, sign extension. I'm pretty sure that's all right. Sure, that's okay. But this is pretty much impossible to debug. <laughs> this is pretty much pretty opaque. <coughs> Do those away that need to be done away right away. Just putting data data in and data out. So, so those are simple ones. So let's review that. So if the C2M and load M. So there's two options, two conditions under which something is to be loaded into M error. That is actually a uh, wrong. Yes. Is 
that is one condition. And the other condition is load M and not C to M. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So C2M selects what is being loaded. C2M selects. So that is dealt with. That panda is not needed. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Hello, uh, baby Torsan. Load A. If load A is 1, then AR gets loaded from that.
still failing the same ones. Constant AR Hammer Data Bus. address get that kind of weird value data address around at least still getting wrong but a little less wrong the result is wrong the data address is right for that part but the result is wrong So the result is calculated from uh, ALU output. Hmm. ALU output. Did I put the ALU operation there? Yes, I did. I did put it there. ALU operand 1. So what did I get that re as a result? I get zero, although I should be getting one. So let's check out this selection. Operand one should be constant if the value is the second one. And of course I got those wrong way around. So So now it got a little bit worse. It is always so nice when <coughs> you fix a bug and it becomes worse.
having a bug in your mind. What do you mean by that? How is it even possible to get that kind of result? I don't understand. Oh, I got it. Verification passed. <sighs> you unlock a new briefing. The end. Amazing. I knew from the beginning we could count on you. We wouldn't have come this far without you, but it's not all over yet. While there was no doubt you created a great product, people simply don't know yet. I got everything set up so we can start manufacturing ASAP and our marketing and sales department are spinning. spinning. It will take a while for us to get the microheart CPU out into the wild and there is not much to do for you, for you right now. Why don't you take a vacation and come back? Check back in a few months. You deserved it. I will make sure to come up with some new ideas in the meantime. Looking forward to talk to you then. Well, PS to be continued. So that's it. That was the entire game. Statistics. <laughs> Your top score. None of my friends have completed this game, it seems. Logic circuits. So I could basically optimize these... Uh, do I care? Do I care? Top score your friend. So actually some of my friends have optimized this a little bit. Do I care? Uh, or could be made just a little, little bit simpler. Let's see. Or logic circuits. Or what is my or? <laughs> oh yeah, I probably could have made a little nicer result. Let's see. What could I what could I have done instead? I could have done this <laughs> for example. That's a simple optimization. Setting statistics or all of those are muxing is good. Mux for B could be a lot better. <coughs> Let us check that. Books for B. So that's what I did there. Uh. Let's see the truth table again. So 
So in this case I need to take that, and in this case I need to take that. Okay. So if I make a car no map of that. Car no maps are usually good for optimization. So So select here this and uh, this and this and this and here it's this and this and this and this. Okay. <coughs> so that could be particularly gnarly there, so let's see if I can do any better. <laughs> of course knowing that this is basically the same as uh, I could optimize this as And somehow convert this also into probably like that. Fail, fail, failed. Um, okay, almost. Almost. Well, most of them failed. <laughs> Verification passed. Sixteen and sixteen and what? What was the goal again? The goal was uh, thirteen. back to the beginning, yeah. So 13 is better, so I could... Uh, how can I improve this? That not is particularly nasty. I think 
Oh uh, yes, because I only need regular knot here. Of course. So that's good. <coughs> Demux. Demux. Demux could be done with four. Demux could be done with four. Yes, it could. So let's check about the truth table again. <coughs> oh, one is uh, there we go, <coughs> and uh, This one could be written as uh, right. Could it? Not sure. Huh. table for that is so if I tr if I want to make that <coughs> in terms of nanders <laughs> because nand is uh, this one nope, cannot figure it out too bad Register could be done with nine. Well, <laughs> decoder could be done with eleven. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I'm doing this really wide register here, even though I don't need to. <laughs> oh well, I've been streaming for so long time that I am satisfied. I have beaten the game. That is good enough. And by now Life is Strange is still downloading, so <laughs> not going to do a back-to-back -back another stream. So, thank you all for watching, have a nice day. Did I actually 
I'm still not on offline, but I'm just checking because I don't think this stream went to YouTube at all. Or maybe it did, but just not seeing it. Dashboard. My channel. Can I see my channel? Channel. Partner verified. My channel. Live now. Watch. Would you so kindly just load that page? Yeah, the other chat is from uh, YouTube. Just want to check that everything worked as I hoped it would. Oh yes, that is alright. So, thank you. Bye.